matter of fact, you probably got this down in the paper, but when when Devin White got signed, were you were you interested? Were, were you like were you like optimistic or like mm, I hear too many bad things about him? Where, where, where were you with that? I was optimistic because he's still a younger dude. Well, obviously, before hearing the press conference, obviously after hearing the press conference, like solidified everything. But before hearing the press conference, I'm like, I was optimistic because I'm like, he's still a younger guy. Um, I feel like he was going to be able to learn from that. And I'm like, him wanting to come here, him coming to the Eagles, like he's seeing something. Like he sees something in us. We saw something in him. So I just felt like it was kind of a match. And we don't usually have a problem when it comes to like problem players. Yeah, like, like character guys, stuff like that. Yeah, we don't usually have a problem with that. Yeah. So I felt like our locker room vibe, our locker room chemistry would have been strong enough if he was somebody who was like a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but after hearing his press conference, ooh, excited. Like yeah, him, he, he said all the right things. Now, I don't know yeah. if he's going to back it up, but he said all the right things. Talking yeah. about having to earn his, they were like, um, what can you see yourself doing? Like, where do you see yourself on defense? He was like, first, I got to earn my spot. First, I got to prove to Vic that I belong on this team. I belong on this defense. Like, him mm -hmm. saying that, like, mm -hmm. earning his spot and not just walking in here and being a, a starter, like, even though he's a presumed starter, and mm -hmm. then them asking him about being on a one-year deal and him talking about the opportunity that provides, him just wanting to prove, 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 prove. And I love the fact that these players still see the Eagles as a one a destination. destination. Yes. Because – these other fan bases be trying to act like nobody want to be in Philly. Nobody want to play in Philly. That's some because they soft. They soft. They jealous. They, they jealous, bro. They jealous of our fan base they because soft. they all were out. Oh, nobody want to play in Philly. Oh, y'all have the worst fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as free agency open, boom, I want to be with a winner. Boom, yeah. I want to be with a winner. Boom, the fans. Boom, the fans. Mm. Boom, the fans. Like, and it speaks to how players view the court because teams don't go nowhere where they feel like the quarterback is not solidified mm -hmm. that's that's another notion too like it speaks like all these players coming here like saquon and yeah they paid him but you know used to he he's, he came from an organization that wasn't winning at all he he wanted though he wanted to win too so it was kind of a, a two for one for him and again Devin white I, again I'm, I'm i was with you I'm, I'm with you on that. Like, I, I was optimistic about it. I, it. Yeah, we hear conflicting reports about, you know, his time in Tampa Bay. Obviously, we knew his first two years was legitimate. You know, former Pro Bowl, former second team all pro, Super Bowl, Super Bowl champion. He He's had he's shown he's had a propensity that he's had a propensity to play at a high level. We've seen it. Right. Um, But for some reason, these past couple of years haven't really been kind to him. Um, Who knows if, if the relationship between him and Ty Bowles wasn't as steady as we thought it was. Maybe Ty Bowles being the you know the head coach or the new DC that took over maybe things didn't really work out whatever it is I'm optimistic about Devin White um more than anything and also what what I was said up to me about the press conference is he said he called out Nicobe by name you no know, but let me not, let me not spice it he didn't call him out but he basically said look Nicobe that's my guy you know I, I tried recruiting him to LSU that's my guy but I'm I'm I'm, I'm coming for that you know what I'm saying like he he he, he gonna have to earn it just like me you know, I I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push him. He basically, he basically said he gonna push me. And look, I'm reading into it again. I'm so, I'm I'm at a little seasoning, but he basically said he, he gonna push me. I'm gonna push him, and you know we are gonna see how it go at the end of the day. You know, I, I love Nicole. I tried recruiting in LSU. He said that, but I I took that as, hey, Nicole, you my guy, and also we all know the Kobe. In my opinion, is on the hot seat. The Kobe's on the hot seat right now. First year game play at all. Second year, you spent primarily the whole season on IR. Like, the, like people, like the, the city is looking at you, and they bring in Devin White. They bring in Zach Bond, a player that I'm actually optimistic about too. You bring in Zach Bond at linebacker. People forget they brought in the guy Julian Acora from the Lions earlier in the off season. I don't know what that's going to pan out to be, but they really added a lot of bodies to that linebacker position. Um. Oren Burks from the from the 49ers. Oren Burks comes from the D'Amico uh Ryan's, you know, uh, coaching situation. You know, he he played under him, played under Steve Wilkes. Um, Devin White played under Ty Bowles. Um, so what do you think about from that perspective? I mean, Nicobe is gonna have to earn it. They loaded, they loaded that room with fresh linebacker bodies. Nicobe can't just go in there thinking he the green dot. And Devin White said that, you know, 
My whole career, I've been the green dot. My whole career, I've been the green dot. So you think that he, in his mind, you think that's trying to end? That That's how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at, I'm looking at, again, he's trying to prove it. He know he's 0 and 0. He know he got to, you know, reprove himself. But confidence is still there and expectations are still there. I think he fully expects to really dominate that room. I'm excited. Again, I am too. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of eyes in that linebacker room at training camp. Yes. Training camp going to be. I need, a hard, I, need a, I need a hard knock for that room. I need a hard right. knock. Right. Training camp going to be spicy, child. Yeah. You, think it's gonna be, be you, you think it's going to be more physical than last year? I think it will. It bet. I think it will. After the – it better be. Agreed. Agreed. It better be. 